Hey, what's up? I'm Jay. Welcome to the studio. Really quick before you skip to on foot footage, if that's all you're interested in, this is just a really fast on foot video to get you early footage if you're thinking about copying the white Oreos, aka the tech gray Jordan 4s. I know it's really hard to figure out if you like a sneaker, especially if no one styles it the way that you would, and especially hard to tell if they have kind of bad camera angles, bad camera quality, uh, the on foot just doesn't look great, or you know, the shot's too close to their sneaker and you can't really see the outfit. But anyways, a lot of different things contribute to how a video turns out and how you can determine if you actually want to buy a pair of sneakers for yourself. And this is a really quick video simply because I didn't think I'd have time to essentially record and edit one of my regular videos, which includes a lot of discussion. And yeah, just while working full time, I just didn't think I'd be able to get a video up to kind of the quality of standard I'd like. So if you're new, uh, I typically make videos discussing sneakers, the state of the culture, uh, a lot about fashion and streetwear. Well, to come, a lot of discussion about fashion and streetwear. Uh, but if you're interested in that type of content, please feel free to check out any of my other videos. And uh, hey, if you actually like it, please subscribe. I would really appreciate that. That's all for the quick intro. Um, thanks so much for watching this one. And yeah, hope you enjoy. Cool. Uh, so intro to the white Oreos. Uh, here's a quick 10 second review. Uh, it's a Jordan 4. Super clean colorway. I think it's going to be extremely easy to wear if everything, as you can see. Uh, white and tech gray are the official colors. Uh, being completely honest, materials really suck on these guys. Um, I heard in another video uh, from someone who got a free pair from Jordan Brand, do what you will with that bit of information, that the leather quality is the best that they've ever seen. Come on now. I know not everyone knows leather, but the leather on these is just not good. Um, they're passable. It's typical Jordan Brand leather quality, uh, which is to say that it's not great leather. Um, but back to on feet, um, I love the gray socks with these. Uh, these are the Pro Mountain Quarter Socks uh, from a Korean shop on Amazon. Uh, go check out my socks video if you're looking for socks that are way better than stance socks. So on to the first outfit. Um, so yeah, starting from the top, uh, this is the Uniqlo Airism Oversized uh, White Tee. Super clean, uh, great for every day. Uh, shorts are the Collect and Select What the Part 2 shorts. Um, I love these shorts. These are just a huge statement piece in terms of uh, streetwear basketball shorts and they just they stand out they're they're the perfect piece to kind of make this outfit pop uh, with the white oreo fours um so socks same thing uh, like i mentioned pro mountain quarter socks from amazon and yeah i i think this outfit just looks really really clean um the white oreos are just a nice neutral sneaker to have on foot and these really let the shorts themselves kind of shine yeah, I think with shorts as loud as these, I think that's definitely what you would want to go for in terms of putting an outfit together, uh, and I think that works perfectly with the white Oreo 4s. So here I am. Yep. Still clean? <laughs> Still on feet? Yep, looks good. All right, on to outfit two. Um, so same shirt, just a different color. So again, oversized Arism uh, tee from Uniqlo. Uh, this is in the dark gray colorway. Um, shorts that I have on, uh, these are just some chino shorts from Urban Outfitters. Uh, the quality on these shorts is actually really, really nice. Um, these are kind of a, a thick chino cut uh, instead of kind of, I've had some really thin kind of linen shorts in the same color, but Urban Outfitters don't sleep on some of their shorts. Uh, some of them are really high quality. Um, I think this pair was about 60 bucks a few years ago. Uh, for socks, uh, these are the Bombas uh, ankle socks. So I'm not actually wearing no-show socks. These are actually ankle socks that come up a bit higher. Um, I always have an issue with no-show socks staying uh, over my heel. So uh, rocking some ankle socks from Bombas right now. But yeah, overall, uh, this is a really clean outfit. Um, good to go for, for every day. Uh, just switching it up from uh, a basic white tee there. Cool, so on to outfit number three. Um, same tee above, so Airism oversized in dark gray from Uniqlo. The pants I have on are dress, I think like comfort stretch pants also from Uniqlo. Uh, what I've done is just kind of roll uh, to the inside the pant legs, I think about three inches, just to give it kind of that cropped uh, fitted look. And I think it's just really clean, um, definitely dressing these sneakers up a bit more, but in a way kind of dressing down the pants, uh, which are kind of more formal dress pants. But yeah, again, these sneakers go with everything. I mean, dress them up, dress them down. These are just a great pair of sneakers. 
Yeah, in terms of uh, dark gray on the tee and then black on the pants, um, I think it's just a, a nice tonal hit. And I think the contrasting uh, tech gray hits on the Jordan 4 uh, just work really well with this fit. Cool, here's me sitting. It's hot as hell. Um, wearing black pants. Uh, yeah, dusting them off because they're a little bit linty. Um, yeah, overall, I think just a really clean fit. Uh, definitely for dressing the Jordan 4s up a little bit, um, but still maintaining kind of that, that more casual vibe for wearing out. Cool, on to the next fit. Um, this is what I like to call the, uh, the fit of the 2010s. So up top, we got a vintage. <laughs> is it vintage now? That's crazy. Uh, vintage Derrick Rose Chicago tee. Uh, if you don't know, Derrick Rose is probably one of the, the best Chicago Bulls player in recent memory. Um, yeah, for pants, uh, I think they're, these are just some H&M uh, skinny denims in a light stonewash. So nothing special, uh, but I really like this pair of denim because they're super stretchy. Um, they stack nicely on the bottom, although typically I don't really like stacks with my jeans. So overall, um, this outfit is definitely a throwback vibe for me. Uh, definitely this fit probably isn't, you know, up to standard for kind of all the high fashion folks, but still a really clean way to wear uh, this pair of Jordan 4s. Okay, so on to the next outfit. Um, so back again, you can tell I really like these Aerism oversized tees from Uniqlo. Uh, you can style them just every day with just literally anything, any type of pant, um, any type of jeans. Jeans I have on here are a stone wash in the dad fit. <laughs> um, so essentially the straight leg, the regular fit. And these are from Goodfellow. So this pair of jeans I picked up for only 20 bucks from Target, and they were exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for kind of a vintage looking jean um, in kind of a dad colorway. And the jeans are actually really thick cut, but this I think would be leaning a bit more towards kind of that fashion community and how they'd wear it. So something a bit baggier, something in a vintage kind of wash. Uh, again, the, the Jordan 4s, I don't even need to talk about them. They just go with everything. Okay, next one, uh, same shirt. <laughs> um, it just kind of goes with everything, but the focus here is definitely on the pants. So switching up the pants, uh, these are uh, a pair of skinny jeans from Muji in a dark indigo wash. Um, so typically with this pair of jeans, I actually don't like wearing them how you're seeing them now. So with these stacks kind of appearing over the sneaker. Um, I think this pair of denim actually fits way more when I cuff them, and that's typically how I'll wear them usually. But um, if this is typically how you wear your Jordans with jeans, uh, this is just for you so that you can kind of see how they look with a pair of darker skinnies that are stacked on top of the sneaker itself. Cool. Um, so moving on, this is how I would actually rock uh, this pair of denim uh, with the sneakers themselves. Uh, so white Bombas original socks. Again, go check out that socks video if you haven't and you're looking for uh, just a really quick way to upgrade how you wear your sneakers uh, with socks. So with the cuffs, um, I really like rocking this pair of denim uh, this way because as you can see, they just fit a lot better to my leg. Uh, I'm a pretty skinny person. I'm not the tallest either. Uh, I'm 5'6", 135. Yeah, just cuffing denim in this way um, makes the pants fit a lot more to kind of my body type. And for the sneakers themselves, it also lets the sneakers pop a bit more. And uh, yeah, I just like showing a bit of sock with every outfit. It's just a nice detail um, that kind of breaks up the transition from your jeans to your socks and then to sneakers. All right, so next outfit, uh, I have on the Stussy Nike collaboration, uh, the long sleeve tee in forest green. Um, it fits kind of oversized and you can see it drapes down a bit longer in the length as well. Um, for the sweats I have on, these are just H&M uh, jogger sweats that I got back in high school. This is like 10 plus years ago, uh, but they still fit really well. I haven't grown at all. Um, I've probably gained some weight, but Overall, um, I just really like uh, this pair of sweatpants. They're not too baggy and not too skinny for myself. And they also have that tapered uh, cuff, the elastic bottom uh, around the ankle. So um, yeah, overall, just a really nice fit to lounge around in. I really like how the white Oreo 4s, they just they go with everything. Um, I've been having a hard time finding what to wear with this forest green long sleeve, but with this outfit, it just, it, it matches because the, the sneakers are pretty neutral. So yeah, overall, um, just a comfy vibe that you're going with. Uh, a little bit more streetwear in, in this case with the Stussy long sleeve tee. Yeah, that's how they look with uh, sweatpants. So cool. Um, yeah, so those are all of the outfits I have for you today. Um, hopefully you got a good wide range of how the sneaker will look uh, with a lot of different outfits that are, you know, kind of made for every day. Um, so I know I repeated a lot of pieces there, but 
If you build out your wardrobe with a lot of these everyday pieces, you can kind of mix and match, um, still get a different style, a different vibe with each outfit, but still be able to rock everything kind of cohesively and still maintain kind of a sense of style. So yeah, that's, that's all for this video. Um, just wanted to show you guys a really quick outfit video for the Jordan 4 white cements. Um, again, I feel like I kind of cheated because they just go with everything, but yeah, I think this is going to be a really popular sneaker to drop um, just because of that fact, because they go with everything. Cool. So thank you so much if you chose to watch this white Oreo Jordan 4 video. I know there are a lot of videos out there. Um, if you like this content, please subscribe. Uh, please check out any of the other videos and yeah, that'll do it for me. So thank you so much again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.